What's up guys, this is Ben MSC, and today we're working on another mission in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we're working on Submarine Fleet 2. I already have a sign, I'm gonna un un equip this has and then. A of there you can. They're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Hear this? Find the subs and sink them. I'm exactly a thousand meters above this. Well, it's a little over that way. I'm gonna parachute in. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a weapons change. Now I'm gonna keep my sniper rifle, but I want to change this this assault rifle out for either, well, another assault rifle, a light machine gun, submachine gun, shotgun. I don't have a crossbow. How do I get this? Yeah, I'm never doing fall and go sets. Just too much. I th well, I tend to use the assault rifles. I want to try using a submachine gun today. I haven't used- oh wow, this one has better damage. This has better damage, better handling, and better noise reduction. That's kind of- well, it's not surprising. This thing doesn't- the one I have doesn't have a suppressor on it. Well, I'm going to check these out first of all. And I'm- the reason I'm not going to edit this out is, guys, I want to explain to you some things that you'd like with guns like these. Because I'm not sure if I actually said anything about submachine guns. Now, I think I already edited this one and customized it because I think I used this before. But let's see the new parts. And I always tend to take accuracy over handling, but sometimes handling is very good to have. Um, I'd say, well, first of all, I tend to have or like to have at least double the accuracy of then damage. Like, you see the damage bar? Accuracy is a little over double that. Uh, handling, I'd like to be no less than damage. And then the range, uh, that doesn't really matter. It depends if you want to be sniping people or up close. Uh, stuff like that. And then rate of fire is also good. If you're a good, very good person at this game, or any game really, your rate of fire doesn't matter. But if you're a bad person, the higher the fire rate, the better, because then you're less likely to you're less likely to miss a person. And then if you miss, you have to reload, and then they can shoot you while you're reloading. That happens to me a lot because I'm not that good compared to other people. Noise reduction that's can be whatever, and then penetration it's that's pretty important if you want to shoot through objects, uh, like in the previous video, which. Be sure to check that out. Um, I shot accidentally. First of all, I shot one of the Sicarios through the warehouse wall. And I also accidentally shot a Rebel through the warehouse wall. And that was because the gun I have, which is actually the gun that I'm replacing now, had a decent amount of penetration. I think the penetration was actually... You tend to want that at least a minimum of the same, or the same as damage, if not more. If you can get it more, that's that's good. Now, part scope. I tend to like this panoramic sight, even though I have better ones like this. Now, I don't see how this scope changes the range or the accuracy accuracy at all, but. Like, I don't know if the stats, because it's just a scope, depends on the person who's shooting the gun, if they're good or not. Under barrel, I have to unlock these. These are all pretty good. Well, actually not, not many of those are. I'm going to do this one. Okay, rail. I have none of these unlocked. Oh, that's creepy. Or not creepy, that's, that's weird looking. It's a very weird laser sight. Now I have to unlock both of these. Barrel, I don't have the short anyways. Uh, mm, I think I'm going to do the stock. Well, this doesn't really matter. All it does is handling. It doesn't do accuracy, so I'll just stick with the suppressor. Okay, this is the gun I'm going to be using today. It, it's not that good. I don't care. Honestly, I'm going to quick pick a paint. I got some from the crates. This one's really bad. Z right there. As a matter of fact, let's go with this. 
entire gun is going to be painted this. I'm not even going to bother going through and changing the sight and making that black and the barrel black and the magazine black and the underbarrel and the rail. Uh, so let's get started right away. Enough talking for me. I am right above this, as we said, a thousand meters. I'm going to make sure to land in the river because when, for some reason, when you land in a river, it doesn't blow up right away. Like, if, sometimes if you land rather close to something, it'll tend to blow up. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm going to land. It's Corral that we found his boat. It's nuts. Something this big this far up the river. That was a pretty good, whoops. That doesn't even make sense. Did you guys see that? That was by the far the best parachute. I just went straight down. I'm glad I went over this wall, otherwise I would have been stuck on the other side. Okay, so I want to do the stealth. It takes longer, but it's it's more fun. Oh, I don't want this guy to see me. It's funny how they just drop. They don't even seem to care, they just fall. I might miss this dude. I'm okay, he's dead. You know, here's a weird thing in this game. Well, first of all, in real life, if someone gets shot, regardless if they anticipate it or not, I think it, they'd still take the same damage. Round just missed him. He's looking for the source. Okay, we're still out of the cage. How's this guy hear anything? Okay, there's one mistake right here in the game. If I shot somebody and they don't know, or if they don't know it, why would they die any quicker than if they did know? There's a mistake right there, and it kind of bugs me. There's a dude right over here somewhere. There he is. Okay, I'm going to get my C4 out so I can blow up the submarine. There's a guy on the other side of this wall. I'm going to take him out, too. I don't need to, but I want to. Now, I recently got this, so this helps a lot. Yeah, the thermal vision. Okay, so let's sneak down here. I don't want to swim, so I'll take a pier. I'll take this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I want someone to see me. The Oh, I better take this guy out before he discovers that body. Oh, that was a headshot. Jeez, they're just everywhere. Now that I have to kill this guy over here so he didn't spot me. They discovered a body up here. That's a shame. There's somebody over here running. I really hate this gun. I'm going to stick with it till the end of this mission, but if I wasn't recording this, I would just change it right away. Okay, so lesson learned. Do not, first of all, don't use a submachine gun for long range shooting. Well, that's not really the reason that I was spotted, but don't don't do that next time. If you if you guys do that, oh, just do it up here. I honestly don't know how reinforcements is going to help at all. Grenade, grenade. Okay, grenade, it, that's going to be funny. If it, How the heck did he throw a grenade from all the way over there? How do I get over there? This, this submachine gun is doing squat against them from this range. Okay, there's a pier. What? There is no pier. Wait, how does this Got even work? The demo over here. Keep security tight. Oh, I see there's like a plank or whatever that goes from there to there. Well, I gotta go destroy this drug sub. So lesson learned. Try not to use stealth when you don't have to. Okay, here, I, I should be able to get up here. I wasn't in the last mission. Grenade, move, move, move! 
just the way this thing works, I hate it. This thing sucks. Here. Oh, I have C4. Jesus. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, you see, I shot through that metal thing. Demo's primed and in place. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna blow this thing up. Let's clear the fuck out of here. Now that one's sinking. There goes the submarine. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I learned a lesson. I hope you did. Don't. Oh. I, I thought we got leg. Do not use. Up oh, here comes the leg. Don't use submachine gun in stealth missions unless they're up close. They're just they, the handling is not very good. Um, when you're firing, I noticed a lot. I fire one shot and then the recoil is just insane. I was just all over the place. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for the lag. I'm glad it's just at the end of the video. Uh, be sure to check out the next next video, which will be the Submarine Fleet 3. So I'll see you guys then.